Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a free RLCraft server. Anyone can join it, it's super easy to set up, no port forwarding or anything. The one catch is that the server is going to be hosted off your own device, so whatever computer you set it up on has to be able to handle the RLCraft server and all the people joining it and everything. Okay, so what you're going to need is CurseForge, Squid Servers, and a Java 8 installation. So I'll link all the downloads in the description. Starting out, we'll browse CurseForge mod packs for RLCraft. And we'll just click install. Okay, sick. Now that that's done, uh, I'll go open up the mod pack and you'll want to click download server pack. Remember where you're downloading this because you're going to need it later to set up your server on Squid Servers. So I'll just put in downloads, click save. Okay, so now I'll open up Squid Servers, click create your first server, and here you want to select your Java 8 installation. If it's not showing up, make sure that you actually download it using the link in the description. Um, there's like a little setup wizard, but once you've done that, if it's still not showing up, you can uh, select Java manually and select the folder that it was downloaded into and it will add it to the list. Okay, so then I'll press next and we're going to select mod pack. I'm playing and hosting, so I'll do this, but if you're hosting only, select that. Uh, then upload mod pack, select file, and here you want to select the server pack that we downloaded earlier. So my downloads folder, the RL Craft server pack, select mod pack. So now it's asking for the Minecraft version and the loader version. So we just go back into CurseForge. You see here for RL Craft, it says game versions 1.12.2 and it's Forge. So go back to squid servers and input that in 1.12.2 forge. Okay. Continue. All right. That's good. Go next. Here you can like do your world to whatever. Okay. Here we can name the server and, um, we can allocate how, however much Ram we want. So since it's a big mod pack, I'll bump up the Ram Let's click next. Here's just like a little review. Let's click launch server. Okay. So now we'll, like, set up your whole server and everything, so you just gotta wait. Okay, sick, now that's done. The server is pretty much all set up. You can just copy this link and share it with people. And here on the dashboard, you can see that the server is public, and here's the address again. Uh, you can also see like the RAM usage and stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, I will show myself actually joining the server so you can see how that works though. So what you're going to want to do is open up CurseForge again, and uh, you want to click play. Now, I'm doing this on the same device that I'm hosting, but you can do it on any device because the link is public. All right, sick. So it's going to open up Minecraft. You should click play again. All right, now RLCraft is launched, so we'll just click multiplayer, um, then add the server and paste in the address. Wait, full screen, paste in the address right here. Uh, just as a reminder, the address is right here. Copy it over and I'll rename the server. Okay, click done. Then we'll ping the server and we should be able to join. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it spawned me underwater. Yeah, I've tried making this video before and it spawned me underwater. It spawned me underwater again. It's great. <laughs> Well, I'm playing the game. Look how fun this is. I hope this helped. <laughs>